that are well known to be surrounded by South China Sea, the profit that Malaysia gained from marine sources itself approximately RM1, RM8 billion every year. Recently, one case has been reported in the suit Terengganu. A 15-year-old girl has been warded in hospital the suit due to this one type of poisoning. The medical doctor has confirmed that this case is diagnosed as combroid poisoning. So this case, is, this case will further be reported by one of our reporters, Sister Anis Nabila, who is currently in Besut Terengganu right now. Hello everybody, so today we are here in Hospital Besut Jerte for interviewing one patient that had been admitted to hospital after eating a tin of sardine. So today we are here with the patient, so come a little bit closer with me. Uh, okay, so what is your name? My name is Murli. Okay, so how was your age? I'm 15. Okay, so can you tell me what actually happened to you? Oh, actually, it's during lunch time. I eat the tin of sardine. Okay. And then I having a discussion with my friend. Okay. And out of sardine, I just go to the toilet and vomit everything. Oh, pity you. Okay, okay, okay. So that is this the actual story of hers. So that's all from me. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Anis Nabila, for the report. Scrumboid poisoning is common throughout the world and, however, is infrequently reported and incorrectly diagnosed. In the United States, fewer than 100 cases are reported each year. So for further details of this poisoning, let us hear reports from Sister Anis Nabila. We are here with Dr. Anis. So Dr. can you explain what is the patient's conditions right now? Okay, the patient is diagnosed with systemic poisoning or known as chromotoxin. It occurs when she consumes scrambled fish such as tuna and mackerel that is not properly stored and refrigerated. Tuna products are found to have high level of histamine that can cause toxicity to human body. A non-scrambled fish like sardines can also cause histamine poisoning. With our toxicologist, so can you explain how this incident can happen? So basically, the injections of histamines are uh, up to 5 mg per uh, 100 grams of fish is considered normal. But the, con uh, the consumption of histamines up uh, to 100 mg per 100 gram of fish is considered toxic. The fish contain decarboxylase enzyme that is responsible for breakdown of histidine to histamine. This histamine will be later absorbed through gastrointestinal. It will be distributed to the blood vessel which involve histamine 1 and histamine 2 receptor that result in vasodilation, stimulate gastric acid secretions and nociceptive nerve fiber. Histamine will be metabolized by two enzymes which are histaminase and histamine and methyltransferase which found in kidney, liver and other organs. Lastly, it will be excreted through urine. How can this poisoning can be treated? Okay, usually the symptom will be resolved after a few hours without treatment. But somehow, in severe cases, it can be treated with antihistamine like diphenhydramine. Current update for this case is Terengganu Health Authorities has shut down the business fish market temporarily to monitor the histamine levels and food safety there. In the meantime, the residents are advised to keep fish refrigerated when it is transported or stored and also to buy seafood from reputable sources to ensure that the products are properly chilled. That's all for today. Watch what you eat today so you can keep the diseases away.